Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, and we're going to answer the question on whether there should be a money market for secondary, for used player characters for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Alright, let's jump into it. Uh, I'm not going to bury the lead. The answer is yes. Yes. So, um, right now, my last wonderful uh, tortle wizard folklore died. Barrel, right? So I don't think I should be allowed to sell him. Oh, wait. I guess I can because he could be resurrected. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, it's, uh, I'm getting confused before we even start. Let's talk about living player characters. All right. So right now, uh, I have a, I have a my current Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition dungeon play I, as a dungeon player. I have the following player character. Uh, his name is Thrad. He is a Leonin. Um, a Leonin Druid soldier from Theros, right? And he traveled from Theros to Faerun. So he has planes walked from Theros to, Fe- to Faerun, and he is an awesome character, right? Now, should I have the right to sell him? And should there be a market where I can sell him where another player would play him? And I say the answer is yes. All right. So why are we talking about this today? Well, I'll tell you why we're talking about this today. It is Young Sheldon. Young Sheldon is a brilliant, brilliant show. Every dungeon player and every dungeon master should watch this because it's an incredibly strong narrative. And it's a really good example of brilliant storytelling. Okay. With strong characters, good drama. Um, it's just, it's brilliant. Right. So, and we as story, we are at the end of the day. Dungeon players and dungeon masters are storytellers, right? Now, here's the question. Who is Sheldon Cooper? Sheldon Cooper is the main character of Big Bang, and he is the main character of young Sheldon, right? Now, who is Sheldon Cooper? Is Shel- Sheldon Cooper is a character played by the actor Jim Parsons, and now played by the actor Ian Armitage, right? Now, who is Sheldon Cooper, right? Now, I say it's Ian Armitage. Ian Armitage is actually the better Sheldon Cooper. He plays the young Sheldon Cooper, and he there are now four seasons of young Sheldon, right? There were actually nine seasons, maybe 11. Uh, there were a lot of seasons of, of Big Bang Theory. And the reason why I think Ian Armitage is the real Sheldon Cooper is because he plays, he does a better job of playing Sheldon Cooper than Jim Parsons did. Uh, by the way, I'm a huge. Fan. I the reason why we're talking is I watched every single episode of um, of The Big Bang Theory on HBO Max last year. I was blown away by it. Jim Parsons was fantastic. Right, he was he did a fantastic job as Sheldon Cooper, but he has been fully surpassed by Ian Armitage. Ian Armitage has a better understanding of the character of Sheldon Cooper, okay? All right, so here's the key, right? Should we let player characters die the Big Bang Sheldon Cooper death, right? So if if Big Bang had never had a spinoff, Sheldon Cooper would always be Jim Parsons, right? But because there was another actor who came on and played the role, right, Sheldon Cooper is a much, much deeper character than any other character, like Penny, right? Penny on Big Bang, right? Great character, but fundamentally less valuable as a character now than than young Sheldon because we know young Sheldon's youth. We know his family. We know his geography. We know his history much, much better than we know Penny's, right? Now, I'm not saying I wouldn't love... I'd love to see a young Penny, you know, like show. That'd be awesome, right? Very fun, right? Um, So, but the reality is, you know, this character of young Sheldon is... This character of Sheldon Cooper is much deeper because it's had two players, two actors. And that's what I'm saying is Thrad, my... My Leonin, right? That's by the way, a Leonin is like a cat person. It's uh, also like a Tabaxi. By the way, Leonin is a cat race that came from a Magic the Gathering setting 
Theros, which is now a Dungeons and Dragons setting, which by the way, I am so in love with. I am so like the MTG D and D thing. I am here for it every step of the way, right? So what I'm saying is, we, as soon as we build a money market where characters can be sold, right, and so that a new player may pick them up and build depth to that character, right? then we will have better player characters. This will make player characters better, right? And of course, you know, once you do this, if you sell something, right, you, there's going to be a page where we get to learn about the, the original player, we get to learn about the player character, we get to learn about the new player, and this can go very, very deep, right? Because we have non-fungible tokens now, and we could mix this with non-fungible tokens, right? Now, first of all, I want this money market where player character, where Dungeons and Dragons fifth edition player characters are bought and sold to exist right away, right? But I'm not going to build it. While well, Scott, this is a great idea. Why don't you go do it, right? Because I have a beautiful wife and I have four kids and I have an awesome job, right? like, and this is just one of a million great ideas I have, right? And I just do not have enough bandwidth in my life to act on every great idea I have. So somebody out there, and I, I know all of you are the people who listen to my channel are all blessed as well, I'm sure. Um, and it might not be on you, but I really would like to see this happen. And the reason why I think this needs to happen for Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition is we need this to trans to to manifest so that player characters can be more well-rounded, deeper, better, more powerful. The way we see with young Sheldon, the way we, with the way we see with Sheldon Cooper. Sheldon Cooper has surpassed every single character in Big Bang because it's not simply played by one person. It's played by two. And the character itself is stronger. So if we want player characters to be more valuable, if we want them to be more well-rounded, if we want player characters to be literally and figuratively more valuable, we need a Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition player character money market. So somebody get on it. <laughs> like, I think this, And I actually do think there could be some money made here. Uh, no question, right? I think it's... You know, when you see the amount of content that's getting sold on D, on on DMs Guild, right? Like, there's there's a market here. It's not huge, right? It might only be you know maybe a quarter million dollars first year, but you know I could definitely see uh, you know a ten twenty million dollar market uh, each year coming from this this kind of uh, an aspect. Now, what needs to happen for this to 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 be acceptable? Well, one dungeon masters need to accept it, and they would need to allow. Um, player characters that were purchased from other players to be played at their table. I'm down. I am definitely down to clown, right? And, and to go this way, right? I think this is, I think this, for the hobby, the industry, for players to put value on these player characters and, and make it known that player characters are awesome and should be fully well rounded and that this is the next step in the evolution of player character depth, I think play, Dungeon Masters need to accept this and allow these characters at their player. So that's how I'm going to end this video. Would you allow a purchased player character to be played at your table? I would. Am I wrong? Am I right? Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.